Hi, this is a demonstration of vehicle theft detection notification with uh, remote engine locking project. So, as you can see here, we have a step down transformer here, uh, which is connected to our main circuit. The circuit is in turn, I think uh, it's having a microcontroller connected to a LCD screen. Uh, a motor, the motor is used to demonstrate uh, as the vehicle engine. The, and uh, here it's also interface to the GSM modem to send a notification to the owner uh, as soon as a theft is detected and uh, the owner may uh, you know send an SMS revert with an SMS back uh, with a particular uh, code to stop the engine running after the theft has been detected so the system works as follows you know the user may uh, drive in uh, normal mode so once he switches to the theft mode once he parks his car or goes away uh, he can switch it to the theft mode on switching into theft mode the system checks if the engine is running if the engine is running in theft mode then what it does is it sends an sms to the original owner uh, or the system user and uh, it also tells him that press uh, this particular message send this particular message to stop the uh, vehicle engine since it is running in theft mode someone has stolen it and after it receives the user sms it stops the vehicle engine so let's see how the system works so let's now restart the system to see it's working so it's showing testing GSM module, the module has been activated. So now the system has been uh, started. So now let's uh, give a call on this particular uh, mobile number to configure the owner number here in our system. So that our system recognizes that particular number as owner. It's also saying here kindly call. So the call has been received on this particular number it's showing that number which is configured and it shows that modem, modem is configured and it shows the project name GSM based, based theft detection system so now it's running in user mode and it also sends an uh, SMS back showing that the number has been phone has been configured as the user so now since the system is uh, working in user mode we can switch on the vehicle engine on switching on the engine you can see that the motor has started so currently the vehicle is uh, running in uh, user mode which is normal mode where uh, it is uh, you know supposed to run and now let's you know suppose the user switches off his engine he leaves his car and he switches the, his car to theft mode here this is the theft mode on this side and now uh, it's you know also showing here that the uh, system has been switched to theft mode so now someone uh, suppose someone steals the car and he starts the engine here somehow he starts the engine so you know after he starts the engine there is some delay and since the system has been started in theft mode it uh, says that message has been sent so this message has been sent to the owner or the owner of the vehicle notifying about the theft so as you can see that the message has been received it's informing the user about the theft and it's also showing uh, that the user may send an S message to stop the vehicle engine remotely so let's send the S message for uh, stop. So now let's send it. The message has been received here. And the engine has been stopped automatically by receiving uh, the user's message to stop the engine so this is how you know user can uh, detect that his vehicle is stolen 
and you can also remotely uh, stop the engine by just sending an SMS to this system and the vehicle engine, the stolen vehicle engine is locked uh, remotely and this is how the vehicle theft detection and notification with the remote engine locking project works. Thank you.